Okay. Well, I just want to pay less to take a pair of shoes back for my wife. And I have a couple of topics I'd like to cover. Um, the first one is going to be the best advice that I ever got. And I just need to set up the story here a little bit for this one. The best advice I ever got was actually from the father of one of my friend's girlfriends. I know it's kind of a weird way to get a good bit of advice. It's actually the best advice I've ever had. Um, it's one of those life things that uh, if you live by it uh, will do you much good throughout your life. And um, It's not religious in any way. It's uh, very practical. And the way that uh, it happened was uh, this is right towards the end of high school and my plans to go into the military uh, fell through uh, I failed the physical because my heart rate was too fast my plan was to go into the uh, the army become an MP and then uh, go to college for criminal justice uh, constitutional law all different kinds of stuff uh, and then break off from that and uh, do some stuff with uh, like the CIA and, and all different kinds of stuff. But I failed the physical. So I was just going to go into college. At least that's what the initial plan was. Uh, and then I got a girlfriend. And uh, the girlfriend had a, an ex-boyfriend who uh, had a really good job, was making a lot of money, and was able to shower her with gifts and stuff. Um, and I, I knew that that's what he was trying to do. That's what he wanted to do to get her back and show her, you know, how much better he was than I was because he had money. And um, there was even this uh, perfume scent that her and I liked a lot. And uh, there was no way I could get it a small bottle of it was like 50 bucks. And um, he ended up buying her the big bottle of it for like 100. And uh, so it was... Uh, big competition thing and I was really concerned I really thought that well, I think like most people do that you know the whoever you're currently with is the one you, you just know you're gonna be with for the rest of your life and of course it didn't end up that way but still that's what I was thinking at the time so I was struggling with uh, going out and getting a, a good uh, like a uh, factory job and there were a lot of them around towards in the late 80s early 90s um, companies that were paying huge bonuses and um, you could have made a lot of money and here I was going to school and I had no money and so I asked this uh, this uh, the friend of uh, well, one of my friends his girlfriend's dad uh, happened to be there um, and I, I asked him I said what what do you think I should do and the advice that he gave me and uh, he basically said if you um, if you have a choice between using your head or using your back always use your head and I thought uh, obviously that's what I ended up doing I went and got a college degree didn't never married this girl I got a college degree um, and every place I could I applied that wisdom to my life and you know you look back now and you look at uh, people that you know um, friends that you have that that ended up having to use their backs or or something uh, in, in order to make money and you see the the times when they've struggled you know I'm uh, like 42 now um, and I don't I don't move around quite like that I did back when I was uh, you know 19 20 and if I had to depend on my physical body for uh, my livelihood um, you know, there might be times when I'm, I'm struggling as a result of that. And uh, being able to sit at a desk 
uh, not have to worry about uh, stuff like that is, uh, is a big bonus. So that is the best advice that uh, I've ever had and I uh, strongly suggest uh, if you're watching this video trying to, to figure stuff like that out for yourself that you take that advice as well. And uh, whatever education you get, it doesn't necessarily mean just going to college, but uh, whatever education that you can get um, to find a job where you have the opportunity to use your head instead of your back. It's like the difference uh, uh, between a maintenance worker and an operator. Uh, an operator uses his head more than his back, whereas a, a maintenance worker or something like that, um, obviously a big part of their job is using their back. And uh, if you can avoid having to do that, uh, I'd strongly suggest it. Of course, there are, there are a lot of professions, too, where you get paid a lot and if you can do a lot of that and do it quickly before your body starts falling apart then then have at it but that was the best advice that I have ever had so um and uh, tell me uh, in the comments or make a reply video as to what uh, the best advice is that you ever got and uh share that with people so and I will talk to you in the comments take it easy bye